In this video, you will learn how to insert checkboxes in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have inserted different checkboxes in this table. If I click on this checkbox, then you can see here the tick mark sign disappeared. And if I again click on it, you can see here the tick mark sign appeared here. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to insert these checkboxes. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Firstly, I will enter the data. I will write task 1 and through fill option, I will fill remaining cells. Now I am interested to insert checkbox in this cell. Select this cell. After that, go to this tab option and find developer tab currently you can see here the developer tabs is not appeared on our ribbon so firstly i will insert developer tab to do that go to file tab and at the bottom you will find the option of more click on it and here you will find the option of options click on it a window will be appeared from here you can select customize ribbon option and this window will be appeared additionally there is another shortcut to show this window simply place your cursor anywhere in your ribbon right click and you will find the option of customize the ribbon click on it and the same window will be appeared here now you can see here we have two tabs first one is the choose command from and second one is the customize the ribbon you will find the option of developer tab in customize the ribbons currently if i move down you will find the option of developer check this option after that simply click on ok now in ribbon you can see here developer tab appeared here firstly select the cell where you want to insert check boxes go to this developer tab which you have recently inserted and in developer tab you will find the option of insert click on this insert option and here you will find two option first one is the form controls and second one is the active x controls from form controls select this checkbox when you place your cursor on this sheet, a plus sign appeared. You can use this sign to insert checkbox anywhere in sheet. Now, if I place my cursor on circle, then I can move this active area. I will move it further so that all text appeared inside this active area. Now, I want to remove this text. So, I will remove this one. Now you can see here, we have removed the text. Now we want to adjust the active area because if I click anywhere in the active area, then it will insert tick marks or tick marks will be disappeared. For example, if I click here, now you can see here the tick marks appeared here. If I again click here, then tick marks will be disappeared because it has active area in this location. So place your cursor here right click then the whole area appeared here by using the circle place your cursor on the circles and you can adjust the active area and if you place your cursor in the line then this four arrow sign appeared and you can move it in any location I will place it here. Now you can see here, if I click on this, tick mark appeared and if I again click on this, then the tick mark will be disappeared. Now you can also copy this one. For example, if I select this cell and when plus sign appear, I will drag it down to insert checkbox in remaining cells. Now you can see here the checkbox are inserted on remaining cells. You can also format this one. For example, 
if I place my cursor here, right click, then you will find the option of format control. Click on this format control option and a window will be appeared. From here you can select the values. For example, currently you can see here if I insert a checkbox then it will be appeared unchecked and if I select checked option then when I insert a checkbox it will appear in checked form. You can also use mixed option as well. Additionally, there is an option of 3D shading. You can convert this one into 3D. If you select this one, click on OK. Then you can see here it is converted to 3D format. Additionally, you can also link the cell. For example, if I place my cursor here, right click and here you will find the option of format control. Click on this. In format control, you will find the option of cell link. I will unselect 3D shading. Click on it, arrow sign. And you can link any cell. For example, I want to link this one. I will select this cell. And after that, click here. Again, click on OK. And this cell is linked with this one. Now, if you select this one, you can see here it is unchecked and it is indicated false. And if I click back again on it, then it is indicated true. To remove checkbox, place your cursor on checkbox, right click and here you will find the option of cut. Click on this, then you can see here the checkbox is removed now. Now you will learn how to group these checkboxes. Place your cursor on any checkbox, right click. Now you can see here this checkbox is selected now. Now press and hold control key and click on other checkbox. Similarly, select remaining checkboxes by clicking on that particular checkbox. Now you can see here we have selected all checkbox. After selecting all checkboxes, release the control key. Place your cursor on any checkbox. Right click. When you right click, you will find the option of group. Place your cursor on group and here you will find the option of again group. Click on this option. Now you can see here our all check boxes are grouped now. If I place my cursor on this line and I want to move it, you can see here all check boxes are moved together. I will place it again here. Now you will learn how to ungroup these check boxes. Place your cursor on checkboxes, right click and here you will find the option of group and from here I will select ungroup. Now you can see here all checkboxes are ungrouped. If I click here and again click here, you can see here only one checkbox is selected. Remaining checkboxes are not selected. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.